Hey YouTube, it's Jonas, and, sorry, I know it's been a while since I put up a video, um, and I have a good reason for that, because I've been working on my Hellcat pretty much non-stop since, whoop, the camera is caught on the chair, uh, since, uh, April 18th, uh, so, what have I done with this Hellcat? Um, it's done. I just need to put the wings on and clear coat it. Well, not in that order. Uh, because I have it as if it were stored on the carrier deck. Uh, as if, well, and the wings are folded. But it's also made up as if it was fresh out of the factory. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> it is my, this is actually my first model I've done everything with the airbrush um so i hope that this well i know it turned out okay but i hope that you guys like it and uh without further ado here's my hell kitty all right i'm gonna turn on some light what there we go oh that might be no that's fine well Lower the camera. Maybe not. And one more leg. Alrighty. Now, there is the Hellcat. This is a Hobby Boss 148th scale S6F-3N Hellcat, and this is in the scheme of the USS Charger, as in October 1943. But I've painted this as if it was fresh out of the factory, um, and I think I did a pretty good job on it. And if you can tell, the decals have conformed to the panel lines nicely. Yeah, you can see it on that back one there. I've just resorted up, or I've just resorted to picking up the uh, camera stand here. You know, like a real filmmaker. No, I'm just joking. In the background there, you can see two models that I've done a while ago, or that I did a while ago. Um, the top left wing. Rockets on. Decals on. This, um, I'll probably clear coat it right after this video. Um, these gun barrels. Uh, I really had to work to make sure I didn't break those off. Those are really, really, really thin. I don't know if you can see those too well. Nah. Oh well. And this decal right here, on this bottom wing, gave me fits. Because, you know, it's supposed to go over that wing-mounted radar there. And, oh boy, that was a nightmare, because, if I can do this with one hand, I did think I ruined the decal when I wrinkled it up on the radar right there, um, but Microsoft, you know, hasn't let me down yet, and it sorted out that problem for me. Um... As you can see, there are some scratches on the model. Uh, those were failed scribing attempts. Um, but yeah, I guess you guys want to see this thing with the wings on it. So, if you'll excuse me here, I'm going to set the camera down. Sorry about the wobbliness. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to put the wings on. A 
Oh, that bomb is a little bit loose. Hang on, let me put some Tamiya extra thin on that real fast. That should do it. Now, earlier today I did spill my Microsol, and I thought that every single decal, well, I didn't realize that I already had all the decals that I needed cut out and were safely up on this box up here, so I had a crisis earlier, um, but, oh yeah, and the tail hook moves. But now that's what she looks like with the wings on her. I mean, you can't really see much of the decals on the side, which you know, unless you look at it like that, then you can really see them. That's really all you'll ever see of them um, because this thing will go on the shelf right after I get the clear coat on, um, and that's got to sit for four hours. But, um, you know, just a quick, quick little channel update. Uh, as you may or may not know, I'm going to start doing step-by-step -step video builds. And, you know, I'm going to start doing them very, very soon. But, I don't know how soon because I have another competition that starts on the 18th of July. Today's the 24th of June. Um, so I've got just a little bit over two weeks until that starts, but I think that should give me enough time to do this. This will be my first step-by-step -step video build, the AMT 148th scale Grumman F9F Panther. I've always wanted to do a Panther kit, now I can, but that's enough of that. Um, what do I give the kit? Um, I give it a 9 out of 10 for one reason everything went together perfectly except for this cowling right here this cow this engine cowling gave me fits like you would not believe it took me about 15 minutes to get that glued on there and uh, that was with the aid of super glue um so you know, for you guys, that may not seem long, but for me, being a 15-year-old, that is forever. And, you know, am I happy with the kit? Yes, I'm very, very, very happy with it. Um, I'm probably not going to do any weathering on it, because like I said, factory fresh Hellcat. Um, as decals go... Um, I give this model a 9 out of 10 again because I just want two, two reasons actually. That decal right there is a pain in the butt. And these yellow tips are all decals and they were living hells. Oh my god, they took forever to put on. And uh, I, I don't ever want to do a kit where those are decals again. But I think I just did that because, you know, save some paint. And I don't have yellow paint. Um, since we moved, uh, I've been stocking up on stuff slowly. But, um, you know, I'm going to... I think I'm going to call that good for today. I think those are... Uh, I don't know how big those bombs are. I think those are 250-pound bombs. Might be 500s. I'm not sure. I don't think it says in the kit anywhere. Um, but, you know, I mean, as my first competition model, this went swimmingly. Um, so, you know, this is this was a beautiful air aircraft. Um, my uncle's dad actually worked on Hellcats in World War II. Um, that's one of the reasons why I chose this kit and another reason is why there aren't that many uh, night fighters out there. I didn't want to do uh, anything German. I wanted to stick to the American theme because I like American aircraft. I mean 
American aircraft. What else can you say? Um, but you know, that's it for now. Um, remember to like the video, favorite the video, rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel to see more kits like this and those and B-17 over there and that little Panzer II. Um, but before I close out, I'm going to do something that will make me look incredibly stupid, but, you know, here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna regret this, but, you know what, I'll regret it later. So, yep, that's it. This is Jonas, signing off. See ya.